Good morning, everybody. As always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host, and let's get right into it. Over the past couple of months, on some of my other web ODM videos here on YouTube, I keep getting the question from people, do people really use web ODM in their drone business? Well, I'm here to tell you if you're looking at the uh, screen. As a matter of fact, yes, I do. Let's get into it. So, all right, I've shrunk myself down. I've put myself down in the lower corner so that we can actually take a look at the screen interface. So I'm on Google Chrome right now. And what we're looking at is actually my web ODM dashboard. So to answer all the folks who have asked on my other videos, yes, I actually do use web ODM for some of my client work, not for all of it. I find that web ODM is really powerful and useful when it comes to ortho mosaics. So when we're doing mapping and it can render 3D models as well, they're just not up to par compared to some of the other 3D models out there. Of course, you can fine tune things a little more and maybe you can get better results than me, but that's gonna take practice and research. So right now what we're looking at here, just so to really let you know, is this being used? Um, let me see, July 9th, that was just a couple of days ago that we went out and did a flight for one of our clients. We can actually take a look at the map really quick. And let's go ahead and turn off the base maps really fast. So there we go. That's our flight area. And that's part of what we use in our presentations for before and after ortho models or ortho maps, I should say. So we can zoom on in here and see what's gone on with the construction. We can export this to a TIFF. We can share this in a couple of ways with our clients. But I want to go back to that main dashboard. So that was July 9th. And a couple of weeks before that, July 25th, was my previous solstice visit. If we take a look at that one, once again, we can view the map. And there's only minor differences. But over time, we get this time lapse effect. We get this before and after effect and our clients really like it. Um, we're not worried about taking measurements or anything here. This is just a visual, you know, a quick visual on what's happened on this site. You know, are the trucks in there? Have people moved some of the uh, fill piles? Those types of things. But as you can see here, so we've got the 9th, 25th, 11th, 28th, 17th, um, another one from another location. We've got some more that we could arrow back to. Um, so we have several pages of actual um, models rendered on WebODM. So absolutely, this does get used for our client work. Let's show you really fast. So we're going to go over to seemybuild.com. This is one of our other sites. This is a site where we actually do presentations for our clients. Some clients have their uh, information hidden and password protected, and others allow us to post this open to the public so that people can see things that have been going on on their sites. So I'm just going to go down to our latest solstice visit, July 9th. And so that was just a couple days ago. And so here is the job site. This is Solstice Ridge 2. This is a new community in the Prescott Lakes Golf, uh, Golf Club area. Um, we do time-lapse video here for them on each of our visits. So we've got time-lapse uh, material starting all the way back from last October. All right, let's scroll down here. And then we have, let me hit my refresh button here. Um, my network's slow on the uptake this morning. So we have our July 25th or, or June 25th and July 9th before and after. So where did this uh, ortho model come from? Where did this before and after come from? It came from WebODM. So yes, I truly do use WebODM in presentations for our clients. Once again, just not the 3D model side. So let's go back to the dashboard here and let's take one more quick look. So WebODM is an open source application. You can get a version of it that's free by downloading from GitHub and doing some command line work. Or if you want the installer, if you want the installer for Mac or Windows, and I think Linux as well, um, but I think Mac and Windows are the only ones that you can pay for the installer. It's a little over 50 bucks at this point right now. But if you are learning about mapping and modeling, if you're practicing data collection for ortho mosaics, this is a great platform to learn on. 
and it's a really low cost. So let me take a look again. We're going to just take a look at the 3D model. Now, we had not been flying this location with a 3D model in mind, but when we're generating our orthos here in WebODM, um, the particular setup that I'm using also generates the 3D model. And as we zoom in, we can actually see the point cloud. We can see our points. And um, we can actually just go up to the textured model so that it looks more like a model. Now, I have rendered these and uploaded them to Sketchfab, and they're just not as quality as, let's say, doing something off of Metashape or a Pix4D. But it does give people a very good idea of the overall job site. So these 3D models I am not sharing with a client. I am instead using another process for those. We don't have a lot of clients asking for 3D models, to be honest. We do have a lot of people asking about the orthos, and that might be the case where you're working as well. So we can play with some flight paths in this, play around with the um, you know, filtering of this. Uh, we can also show where all of the cameras were that took this, and I zoomed right past them but see all these little cameras floating in the sky. Those are all the points where my Mavic 2 Pro took a shot to render this overall model. All right, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard again. So like I said, this is gonna be a really quick one. Absolutely, we do use Web ODM um, for our client jobs. And you can see, you know, even in our client job web pages, yes, there is the example of the Web ODM, along with the video, along with the 3D site model, and still image galleries, and finally some 360s of buildings at different stages of their construction. All right, everyone, I hope this answered your questions. By the way, uh, we do have a longer class on Web ODM. If you go over to classes.easydrone.net, you will find our quick introduction to Web ODM, and that should get you started on doing your own ortho testing from your mapping flights. All right, everybody, we'll see you again in the near future. Hope you're having an awesome summer.